Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we get out into the real world to explore the mind-body lifestyle. I'm Elizabeth Goyer, and today we're going to be using a flowchart to help make changes when we're having a bad, icky, terrible day. So I got this strategy out of a book by Jess Baker. She's a body positive and mental health blogger. She's awesome. Um, and this is for when everything is just falling apart and we're stressed out and we are so overwhelmed that we don't know what to do. So the first step is to name how you're feeling. So for me, it's usually stressed, but other words might be lousy, overwhelmed, sad, lonely. Those are all good words to put at the top. The second step is to expand on it. How, why are we feeling this way? So I might be feeling stressed because I have too much to do and I can't keep track of it all and I am overwhelmed and I can't prioritize. Um, step three, list important life areas. So most people have somewhere between six and 10 of these. So it might be like food, water, sleep, work, friends, family, any activities that are really important to you like your Pilates practice. Those would go in this category. And then the next step is to evaluate each area. So you would look at the word and say, food, hmm, I'm pretty hungry. Water, I need to drink water, I'm dehydrated. Work, uh, I'm pretty behind right now. And then you would go through each category and see how you're doing. The next step is you pick one action item for each category. So you would say, okay, food, if I need food, I should eat something. That's my action item. You write it down underneath the category, and I did that down here. Water, I'm okay on water, but you know that won't last forever. Work, I'm getting behind. My house is getting really messy. So you evaluate each area without judgment. You just write down how you're doing in that category. Then the next one is for the areas that need help, you pick one action item. So this does not mean that you fix the whole thing in two hours, but that you pick a next step, kind of like you go for the low hanging fruit, if that makes sense. So, you know, if I need food and I'm hungry, I can get takeout. If I'm thirsty, but I know it won't last forever, I could fill up my water bottle so I have it for next time. If I'm behind on work, I could pick one project and finish it. If my house is messy, I could pick one area like the kitchen and do the dishes. So then here's the last part, and this is so simple, but it's so brilliant, I think, is that you just number everything. You put it in order. So first, I fill up my water bottle. Then I go pick up my takeout. Then I do the dishes. And then I finish my project. And if you actually do this with seven or ten areas, you will have a plan for the next day and a half that you can just do one step at a time, and it really makes a huge difference. So I personally use this at least once a week, and I wanted to share it with you all. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.